Advances in technology have been critical in terms of us being able to more precisely evaluate the heart. Some key technological advancements include an increase in resolution. So with some of our newer techniques, we're able to see the heart in ways we've never seen before with exquisite detail. We're able to diagnose things earlier in the disease process. We're able to see different processes that are affecting the heart muscle tissue and come to a diagnosis earlier so that treatment can be started. 3D imaging is a technique for us to really evaluate complex anatomy. So we're using that in congenital heart disease, so patients that have had a lot of surgical management, and it's very helpful in planning additional surgeries in the right patient. So even before we go to the operating room with a heart cath lab, we can have an idea of exactly what's going on anatomically with the heart with these 3D models. Because we have so many tools now, we can utilize these tools together. They complement each other in a way that we can really come to a better diagnosis. For example, MRI is very good at looking at heart muscle tissue, but CT is very good at looking at arteries. So we can combine these two techniques to really come to a firm diagnosis in a heart patient. We now have been able to miniaturize these devices so that we can use them at the bedside. So if someone comes to the emergency department at two o'clock in the morning with chest pain or shortness of breath, we can instantaneously evaluate them from a heart function perspective to figure out exactly what's going on. Hardware and software development has met tremendous implications for advancement in technology for cardiac imaging. Computer software can now process these very heavy image-laden files for us to manipulate data in ways that we can now better diagnose uh, conditions. Artificial intelligence, or AI, now can process these images, huge files, and basically do all measurements in a way that is um, very formatted and uh, reproducible for us to know exactly what we're dealing with. When we do these interventional techniques through blood vessels and we can't actually open the heart and see what's happening, it's important to have tools for us to visualize where we are so that we keep people safe and we can administer the therapies that we're doing uh, in a way that's precise and is most effective.